These last few days before Christmas break, several Hamilton County elementary schoolers are making do without the expensive resources their families collected in a fundraiser. New Channel 9 was first to tell you about a major break in at Lakeside Academy off of Highway 58 this weekend. Hannah Lawrence joins us now live from the school with what all went missing and how the school is moving forward. Hannah. Kim and Latricia, you can see right here that this window is a little bit cleaner than the others. That's because it's brand new. The principal says that thieves took a big screen TV still in the box, and that measured more than 30 inches when we looked it up online without the box. So you can imagine how thieves struggled to get it through this 40 inch window, and that's not all they took. From the halls of the Lakeside Academy, you can hear kindergartners learning to read. But tonight, many classrooms forced to do it the old fashioned way. Without one tool, Arthur Williams says, never fails to engage them. So, in our most recent fundraiser, we were able to purchase some iPad minis. Now, halfway through the school year, he says half of the stash parents and staff worked so hard to buy with fundraising dollars is gone, stolen in two different break ins. The first time, I was just mainly shocked. The second time, I was furious. Teachers say thieves first broke in while students were on Thanksgiving break. Last week, it happened again, and the crooks got their hands on even more expensive technology. Now, suddenly our kids can't do that work, um, and so now they are having to have their teachers have to scramble to replace patterns and routines and structures that have been in place all school year. I mean, they use it a lot. They use it every day. Every day they are using those iPads. The school's principal, Andrea Johnson, says Friday morning, these surveillance cameras captured four people in hoodies walking away with the iPads, a teacher's laptop and a 60 inch television like this one. Nearly all of it was brand new. It's hurtful. It is devastating um, because my students are without so the people are really stealing from our kids and, and I have issues with that. Tonight the three windows she says burglars busted out are fixed. Now nearing Christmas break, the teachers are trying to make sure nothing else goes missing. We're trying to lock up our items, but um, we just need people to stop taking from our kids. We first reported the break in over the weekend. This morning, while we were at the school, the principal says that someone from TVA called her and told her that workers there were going to donate $5,000 to cover the cost of some of those that equipment. Williams says it won't cover the whole thing, but it's close. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Thanks, Hannah. That is good news for sure. Williams says it costs $350 to replace each iPad. Chattanooga, please identify the